So I'm going to tell you how to install uh, Insignia with ZMU, the Xbox emulator. First thing you're going to need is uh, the actual emulator itself. If you're using the Steam Deck, get it from the Emu Deck, which will install it over Flatpak. Otherwise, just download it through your uh, operating system. So I have it here. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to extract ZMU. And then run it to make sure it actually works on your system. And here it does. So now we got to get the BIOS files. The first thing I'm going to get is the hard drive image, because you need to get a special hard drive image that has the Microsoft dashboard that has the appropriate live files on there. So I'm going to wait for this thing to go. And here's you, you can get it off my file server. And you want to get zemu ms-.qcal2. So download that file. It's going to take a while. Actually, it's going to take a second. So we have the hard drive image covered. But now we need to deal with the MCPX, the Southbridge firmware, and the actual BIOS chip uh, firmware. So we have to get this off XBINS. And XBINS, you can, you can only access it via IRC. With, and you have to access it over FTP, but you have to connect with an IRC client. The IRC client I use is HexChat, and the FTP client I use is WinSCP. So you need to open HexChat. And mine pops up straight away, but you want to actually click, but you'll get the network list. You want to hit skip network list on startup, click close, then reopen it. Because uh, EFNet, which is where you go to connect to XBINS, actually has a bit of an issue with their US mirror and SSL. So once you're in this plain window, type server irc.efnet.net, and you want to just make sure that goes over 6667. However, if that fails, the US mirror which you can use is irc.chupa.net. And that connects instantly for me. EFNet is a kind of a forgotten relic, as most people have switched over to using libera.chat. But that's uh, not where XBINS is, that's not how we get stuff. So you're going to get the connection complete dialog, and you want to join the channel XBINS. And you want to type slash message xpins exclamation point list. And you'll get a private message with the FTP information. So now you want to open WinSCP. And you'll get the login dialog. And you want to click file protocol FTP distribution.xpins.org for the host name. The port is 21, which is already set. The username is going to be whichever username you input for the uh, IRC username, but abbreviated to nine characters. So mine's Sammy Crusader, stupid, and the password is emulation. Hit login. It'll take a bit. The FTP server is a bit slow. There we go, we're connected. And I'm going to download this to my downloads folder. So you want to go to Xbox. You want to go to console-based applications. You want to go to BIOS. You want to go to, first thing you want to go to Complex, and you want to download the Debug BIOS 4627 and Retail BIOS 4627 version 1.02 Complex. So you hit download. And then you want to go to uh, the upper directory back to BIOS and you want to type you want to go to original and MCPX and you want to download MCPX underscore 1.0 dot bin go to your downloads folder and scroll to the very bottom and you want to grab the MCPX 1.0 dash bin and you want to put that inside your Xeme folder if you're using the Steam Deck, you want to put this in Home Deck, uh, I think it's Home Deck Emulation and BIOS. And open the .rar file that contains the BIOS files, and you want to extract the Complex 4627 bin, not the debug, you want just the bin. This is the retail BIOS, and drag that in here. Then you want to go back to the dashboard file and you want to copy that here. So there you go. Now run ZMU and configure this. Set the MCPX boot ROM. 
set the flash ROM, which is the complex BIOS, set the hard disk to the ZMU uh, Xbox dash, go to network, make sure, you may have to fiddle with this. Try bridged adapter, you might need to install NP cap for that to work. If you can't, or if it doesn't work, try NAT. And you want to disable any, disable the adapter to change the settings, enable it when you're done. So now that we have that going, we have to restart ZMU4 to actually work. So when it works, your Xbox will start up. So now we need to actually get the Insignia set of files. So you go to insignia.live, you hit connect, scroll down to the hard modded, soft modded systems, and you want to click download the assistant. That'll take you to the GitHub releases. And you want to click insignia setup.iso. There you go. When you're at the Xbox dashboard, click machine, input, and change it to either your keyboard or the actual controller you're using you're gonna use for the uh, session. If you're using keyboard, just press the actual key A, and that'll let you uh, connect around. To verify that your network works, you wanna actually go into settings, go into network settings, wait for it to load the online dashboard, hit IP addresses, and if that does work, you should have a valid IP address here. If it's once, uh, if it's not start, if it doesn't start in 192 or 10.0. whatever, it's not working. Or if there's nothing in here at all, it's not working, you'll want to try another network type and restart the emulator. But in my case here, it works. So I'm going to go back to the actual uh, dashboard menu. And you want to hit machine, load disk. And then you want to load insignia setup.iso. Now, the Xbox logo is going to stretch here. This is this depends on your GPU, this depends on all that, but if this happens or you get a black screen for a while, you want to go to machine, you want to go to display, and you want to set the internal resolution scale to 2x, and then back to 1x. If that doesn't work, you want to hit machine and reset. Because you see it, the menu flickered for there, a minute there. But... If you get the black screen, instead of the Xbox logo stretching, it'll probably connect. Once you're in, you want to hit register Xbox. So use the arrow keys and press A if you're using keyboard or you have your controller mapped already. And when it, it'll take a bit, but it'll say your Xbox is successfully registered. You hit troubleshoot, all uh, checks passed, and then you want to clear the ticket cache. This is just in case. And then eject the disk and reset. Now go to settings, go to network settings, go to connect, it'll detect the network cables, well virtual network cable, It'll detect the IP address. If you're using NAT, it may take a bit. There you go. Then it'll try for DNS. Also, you're going to want to make sure... Uh, Zemu runs fast, not like in my uh, virtual machine here, because I'm running this in a virtual machine. I use Linux, but Windows is going to be common, so it's going to be a bit slower. But there you go, connected to Xbox Live, and now you can actually uh, register your account if you have an invocation code. If you have a actual, uh, if you already have an account and you need to recover it you can do so within the Xbox Live menu. Uh, but I have a another way to make it easier to transfer your, to actually get your account between instances. And that is to actually create a, a, menu, a memory card image with your account. So I have my account on my system, and we're going to create a virtual memory card image. So... On Windows, there's actually different instructions for Windows and Linux, but you want to open the command prompt. 
go to your downloads folder with the ZMU release or wherever the ZMU folder is, and you want to type fsutil file create new xmu.img 8388608. This is the 8 megabyte memory card size. And press it, and it'll create a new xmu.img file. Go back to the actual uh, main menu, and then under debug, press monitor. Now, you have to type in monitor commands to import the memory card as there's not a graphical interface for this yet. But, drive add, zero, if equals none, ID equals USB disk one, file equals xmu.img, stop, device, add, USB dash storage, drive equals USB disk one, port equals 1.3.2, and then continue, and then you go to memory, and it'll say your memory unit has been erased, that's fine. So there's your memory unit. If you press A, there should be nothing on it. So now go to your hard drive, and you can press the uh, Xbox Live account that you have, hit copy, then put that onto the memory unit. And then your memory unit should have your Xbox Live account for Insignia. So there it is. And then every time you have set up a new Zemu instance, like if you have your account on your computer, on your deck and other and such, then you can actually just import, uh, just straight up import the account without having to do account recovery and doing that 7,000 times like a game. The And if you have your Insignia account on an Xbox, you can actually use the Xbox to female USB cable that you have, plug your flash drive in, to, and then copy the Xbox Live account on the back, back to that fake memory card that's on your USB drive, plug that into your computer, and you can use a tool like HDD Raw Copy Tool to import the actual uh, flash drive to your computer as a IMG file. So I actually will demonstrate this to you. Here's the Raw Copy 1.10 setup. And then let me go plug my flash drive into this computer. I don't have the exact flash drive with me on hand, but the process is similar. You launch the raw copy tool, you click agree. You click your flash drive. This will usually be a cruiser blade and not a cruiser dial, but again, I don't have it on me. Click continue, double click to open a file, and you'd call it USB.IMG. Actually, no, you want to make sure it's USB. .img, and then you want to save it, change it from compressed image to raw image. It needs to be raw image, DD image, and you need to make sure it also has the .img file extension. Press save, and then press continue. It's going to complain because there's there's likely something else already using the flash drive. I think I have, I have a Linux file system mount utility, and this flash drive has a Linux file system on it, so yeah, but... You, it, this will 100% work with your Xbox flash drive, assuming you don't have Fat Explorer running on the thing. You just create a raw image file of it, and then you can put that into the monitor to actually import your flash, to import your Xbox Live account, close ZMU, reopen it, and you can actually repeat the steps to create a new uh, memory card image. That way you have a smaller 8 megabyte file instead of a large 4 gigabyte or more file. But with that, with the account on my system, I can go down to Xbox Live, hit on my user, and once it loads, I am connected to the Insignia beta test. So yeah, that is it.